Live from your breaking weather leader, you're watching KKTV 11 News. Well, I hope you found some time today to spend some time outside because it was a very beautiful day across southern Colorado. Just a few clouds in there moving in from the west, mostly some thin high clouds, but there are some thicker ones in there too, and they will continue to thicken up really over the next few hours with maybe even a few light sprinkles in there. The uh, Pikes Peak region and the southern I-25 corridor as well. It's not going to be too impressive, just maybe some light sprinkles later on this evening. Also over the southeastern plains, especially into the overnight hours, there will be a slightly better chance for maybe some light rain showers out there. So that's mostly going to be over the eastern plains, maybe the southern I-25 corridor as well. But then into tomorrow morning, that's going to shift a little back towards the I-25 corridor. I'm pretty sure things will be dry for the Pikes Peak region, apart from maybe just a few sprinkles in there. But yeah, there's a chance for some light showers in there early tomorrow morning before this line will start to move back towards the east. That's where I think there will be the slightly better chance for maybe some light showers, even some thunderstorms in there rolling towards the east and then behind it for the I-25 corridor. Things are starting to look mostly dry again and maybe even some sunshine later on in the day tomorrow. If you're heading to Pueblo for the state fair tomorrow, things are looking pretty much perfect really for late August. Maybe a few clouds in there, but we should remain dry and look at those temperatures. Notably cooler than what we had out there today, mostly in the upper 80s, maybe to around 90. So very nice as well. So that heat is not going to be too much of a problem into our day tomorrow either. And yes, mostly dry. That's going to be the theme also for the next couple of days. Could be a couple isolated showers or storms in there, mostly for the mountains, I will say, but the rest of us should remain dry with the uh, also for the rest of this week and also into early uh, next week. And that's some good news for the Labor Day weekend and Labor Day liftoff happening in Colorado Springs for Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Temperatures very normal for this time of the year in the low to mid 80s, keeping an eye on maybe some light isolated showers in there each of those days. But again, for the most part, we should remain dry as we go through the Labor Day weekend. With that, though, the absent of any moisture and showers is increasing the allergy count a little bit. So if you uh, suffer from allergies, you might notice that a little start to increase here as we go through our Labor Day weekend. Temperatures dropping a little bit compared to what we had out there today, mostly in the low to mid 80s, also through your Labor Day weekend, as you just saw. Maybe a little bit warmer and some slightly better storm chances towards the middle part of next week. For Pueblo, if you're heading to the final few days of the State Fair, Things looking dry and pretty average for this time of the year with highs mostly in the upper 80s to right around 90. And for Canyon City and Woodland Park, slightly better storm chances, especially for Woodland Park. But overall, things looking mostly dry, especially for the weekend, with temperatures mostly in the 70s and 80s.